Hi there, I wanted just to do a quick video. Um, after having a conversation with a friend there, I felt inspired to share something. Um, whenever I speak to this friend, it's, it's kind of funny because we think we're having these like superficial conversations, like just day-to-day -day conversation. And that's what it starts off as, but then it ends up turning into like a bit of a personal development lesson. And it turns into uncovering this like deep wisdom sometimes, I mean not with every conversation obviously, but with some things it then reveals something that we actually both needed to learn and the surface conversation was just there as something to trigger that. Um, I feel like a lot of people have a, a, a fear of receiving and they, they hold themselves back from giving. Um, and it's not actually that they don't want to offer their product or their service or they don't value that, it's actually masking a fear of receiving. If you like if you don't offer something, like or, or give someone money or like it doesn't have to be with business, it can be personal as well. If you don't send that energy out, then you don't you actually put a wall up and you 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 stop the other person from being able to reciprocate and from being able to give you money in exchange for your for your product or service or give you money or give you a gift or something uh, to show their appreciation for you or for what you've given them or whether that's something physical or whether that's even just emotional support or love or something you someone can give you something if you aren't open to receiving it. Um, I think a lot of people with a fear of receiving want to control how they receive as well. Um, so they're, they're controlling how money comes to them and they, don't, they, they can't see it coming from any other means other than the way that they or their, their ego knows. Um, so yeah. They want to control like what they put out there or when they put it out there because they they want to control the the receiving of it or they they might have a lack of trust that it will come back to them. I feel like a lot of people, myself included, I've been there, um, are so like you grasp onto money because you're so afraid or you don't trust that it's going to come back to you. So the the lack money or the little money that you get from your one or two sources of income say you you grasp onto that if you're trying to like put it towards something whether it's a business idea or saving to go and visit someone or saving for like a gift or something because you think it's it's hard you think it's it's going to be hard to um receive that money but it's only hard to receive that money because you don't want to receive it. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you're blocking the abundance coming to you. So you actually only allow the like the tap to drip, so to speak. You only allow little drops to come to you because that's what you comfortably can handle receiving. But you're terrified of a tidal wave coming to you, um, whether that's financially or like in relationships, people are terrified of that amount of love coming to them. So they just accept this little amount because they can like deal with that without feeling swept away by it. So yeah, that was just something I wanted to share for today. So thank you.